Hi guys, I've had a couple of requests to do a video on how I converted my Hornby Pendolino to be compatible with the Batman Class 57. I actually did the work um, about 12 months ago actually and um, I did do a step by step process but I lost the first part of that video and that's why I never uploaded it to YouTube. But uh, since then lots of people have asked how I've um, actually achieved this so I thought I'll try and recreate the first um, clip of that video and uh, hopefully that will help you if you decide to have a go yourself. Um, first of all I want to talk about it in um, real life and um, as many of you will know the Pendolino um, is often pulled by a class 57 if it's failed or it's in a region where there's no overhead wires like in this picture um, so the class 57 often hooks up to the Pendolino via a, couple, a Delna coupler I think which um, is just under the bonnet there um, but actually um, the work that I've done in this uh, model could be applied to other uh, locos um, multiple units sorry uh, as you can see here is a, a class 220 or 221 Voyager and that's been pulled by a 57 there there it is but with a direct rail services um, uh, 57 and if we go further back I suppose you could apply it to an APT there's a class 56 uh, I imagine Hornby APT you can do uh, a couple of modifications to achieve a similar style and if you really want to go for it you can um, get a class 67 to pull a HST power car that may have failed um, that might be a future one that I might look at if I find a damaged HST power car on eBay or something um, that's that so back to uh, my job it was essentially achieved using KDs um, and what I'll do is I will uh, provide a list after this little clip of what you might need so first of all I'm going to direct you to this uh, model rail magazine uh, because that has a really good step by step guide in on how to do the conversion it is this version here uh, number 135 and you can pick this up generally on eBay um, sometimes at pres preserved railways they uh, have like um, the old um, magazines which you can pick up and this one's actually really good if um, cause it does like a little article actually on the Pendolino and then um, here is the actual article kind of talks you through it and it's uh, it's quite a nice little article and it's quite easy to follow and uh, that's pretty much what I've done um, to achieve it so after this I'm going to put a list of all the bits you need uh, to do this job So step one is nice and easy really, it's just the class 57 and your KD number 19. If you've never come across KD couplers before they just look like this. And basically they slot it into the NEM pocket which is this little one here. And essentially you'll just push it in like so. And then you click in, and that's it. So uh, this is the height gauge which um, you can buy from KD, and um, I think it's about five quid or so. Um, so if you just if you just look for double O or H O KD 
high gauge you'll get one of these and I have found it extremely useful for um, doing this job uh, the article doesn't actually talk about it I don't think but it's very useful uh, I can demonstrate it here with the 57 so pop your loco on the, uh, the track here and this just fits on top of the rails that's it and basically that is the level that your KD should come up at now if you put your 57 like that that is perfect which is what you'd expect actually from um, modern locos now the NEM pocket is normally designed to accept a KD like that so that it comes up at the right height so that's okay <clears throat> now it's okay with the 57 because that's already the, the coupler is basically straight plug and play but the pendolino you have to kind of layer the um, the KD up yourself and by having the height gauge with you you can judge how much plastic card um, you need to place under the coupler and that will just be exactly the same um, and that's KD number 33 which you need to complete that so I will now um, leave you there so that's the end of the uh, first step um, of this video um, I'm now going to take you on to the step by step video which I did last year um, Apologies if the quality of the video is not um, great. Uh, I think I did it on my um, phone camera video thing, and um, so it's a little bit blurry at times. But uh, if you do miss anything or don't quite hear something, please ask in the comment box, and I will do my best to help you out. Um, and that's about it. Uh, I hope this is useful, and uh, thank you. So the uh, next step was to take the Pendolino body off um, its chassis. Um, this was actually DCC fitted. Um, the other Pendolino I have was DCC ready. I had to fit the chip. Um, and I've never seen this assembly before on the PCB. It's directly wired, um, which is annoying really because I have to take it out. Um, I'll somehow, I'll find some way of um, using this chip, um, but the, the, the it's got to come out really, this PCB board. I'll try and keep the uh, the weights in, because that's good um, for the model, but all these uh, lights have got to come out. That uh, PCB unit was quite easy to uh, take out as it turned out. It was, um, just off these um, pillars here, just on little tiny screws, barely see them, just uh, comes out. You have to uh, disconnect these wires and obviously you've got to isolate them or uh, make sure they don't touch uh, anything metal because it will short everything out. So I've just uh, put some labels and tack over them so they shouldn't cause any problems if I do we'll find out on the dynamics because it lets you know anyway this might be able to be recycled um, for another unit we'll see so uh, that's that so the next stage really is um, looking at the coupling itself the next job is going to be actually building this um, KD number 33 comes in like a kit like that and uh, there's your instructions uh, so that might be fun so uh, I'll have a crack at that and uh, I'll come back to you once that's done next step is to cut a recess in the chassis so that your coupler can fit 
I just use this, I, I just did this using a sharp blade and it just snaps out I think it's about 10mm uh, that you want the gap to be building a coupler is one of the most fiddly things I've ever done once it's uh, but once you put it in your desired place and test it with the, the height gauge as you can see meets it perfectly so I'm really happy with that so now I'm, I'm going to go about securing that onto it um, there you go once your coupler is in place um, it's good to let the little uh, drops of glue which you may have used to dry so what I'm now going to do is attempt to take this bonnet off um, the magazine actually says to use a drill <coughs> so far I've gotten away with using a really sharp knife to cut things so I'm going to use the knife again to take that out and I will definitely keep this bonnet and put it in the dapper area I always keep stuff like that um, it helps with detail and uh, it's a shame to throw things like that away anyway so uh, I'll crack on with that another thing I did forget to mention is you need to take out the um, lighting area actually inside the body um, with a bit of um, pulling um, obviously carefully it does pop out um, but it does take a bit of patience to ease it out because um, I think it is glued to the body and you'll be really careful so that was quite a difficult task that one that took quite a while um, but it's out um, at this point it's best to file down the edges smooth them off and then what what, um, what we should do next is really um, touch up these white bits with the correct paint um, I don't actually have the paint with me at the moment but I believe Humbra will do a virgin red paint and you can get worn in yellow paint as well so um, at a later stage I will come back and do that but for now I'm just going to run with this I've taken the headlights out and just the, the, the model headlights out for now just in case it got damaged because um, that kind of material cracks quite easily so I've taken them out so my plan now is to file these edges down glue these back in and then uh, have a look at the coupler now the coupler is actually on the chassis I was just going to test it first with the um, the height gauge which I have to admit has been fantastic I cannot recommend this enough there you go if we come to the side there you can see it's a perfect meat someone else that I've came across um, which is really good for the KDs is this um, uncoupling tool and it only cost me two pounds there's the uh, packaging and basically just pop it in there so the lights not very good now just pop it in the middle turn it you're away simple as that right so now I'm going to test the chassis with the 57 now in theory because we used the height gauge before the 57 was fine for that <coughs> I'll just put into a bit more light see if I'll help the camera focus a bit no, it's not going to do it Absolutely fine, perfect match. So I can now look at putting the body back on and uh, 
real way. And I'll just uh, just prove it the couplet. Well, it's on the other one. Let's have a look. So once you do get the body back on, uh, another thing you may have to do, uh, which I had to do, was uh, swap the coupler out. Um, because this is a dummy car, uh, I think it had a female coupler in, and um, for this to be at the front of my Pendolino train, I had to change this. Um, I, you can normally pick up the spare parts on eBay again, um, and that's relatively easy really, it's just a screw underneath and uh, that pops straight out um, I know it's been 12 months and I still haven't got around to touching up these sides they're filed down, I just um, just need the paint but apart from that it's um, it runs really well actually and it pulls all 9 carriages with um, no problem at all um, it is also um, worthy of note that I've used a dummy power car rather than the motor car which uh, Model Rail actually talk about. Um, main reason for this was the dummy power cars are cheaper to get and also you don't have to rip a motor unit out of it. This um, was nice and easy with it being a dummy power car um, so I'd recommend doing it my way with the dummy power car um, just to save yourself money and time basically um, I really hope this video was helpful uh, if, if there's any further questions uh, yeah please drop them in the comment box and thank you very much for watching uh, bye for now